I suppose it's a result of COVID. We were in lockdown um, and it, it, on the one hand, all awful times for everybody and uh, but it does make you not take things for granted and it makes you think a little bit outside the box as to, to what to do and we're a restaurant so we're kicking our heels and I, one day I just I googled the name and it didn't come up with anything I thought there's an idea. I've learned through our 10 years of being here and um, serving our food and tasting the wine with the food and also the visits that we've made to, um, to France in particular and Italy. Um, so while I'm not a sommelier, um, I've really enjoyed going to the vineyards, watching the winemakers make their wines, learn about how their processes are carried out, look at their passion, meet the people. Um, and that for me is my, is I, my love of, of, of the wine comes from watching somebody else have a passion for it and then being able to serve it in the restaurant. Most of all, and I kid you not, most of all, the thing we most look forward to is sharing these wines with nice people. And that is where you come in. So thank you for coming. Chardonnay is what we all expect from, from Burgundy. Um, but uh, there are, I can say, there are at least four other great, quite great varietals that we can use in Burgundy, in white Burgundy. Um, one being Pinot Burro, which is Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. And they use that in the sort of Haute de Côte, Haute de, uh, Côte de Bone, tend to find that. Um, Pinot Blanc, which the Alsatians use a lot. And they use that quite a lot in sort of light, easy drinking uh, white Burgundy. Um, and then there's Sauvignon up in Chablis, Sauvignon de Saint Brie is an Appalachian that you can use uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And then there is um, a great variety that we'll see at the start and a great variety that we'll see at the, at the end, uh, Bourgogne Alligoti, and that's what's in your glass tonight. It is a commercial opportunity, of course it is, but it's more than that. It's actually, dare I say it, fun. Dare I say it, it's bringing an interest in a little bit of quality that we've got and, and spreading the good news. And, and that's the, the fun of it. And, and, we've, and we've been able to share that fun as well because we've got Gordon Davison, our principal wine chap, and, and getting his enthusiasm as well in the idea of growing this thing and, and, and emailing him in the middle of the night saying, what have you got with a cheeky bone or, or a je -je? And, and getting a, a, an answer back almost the same night. It, it, it's, it's sharing an enthusiasm for this wine. For me, that's what Sky Fine Wines is all about. It's about an experiencing the wine, the love of the wine, the complexity. I do love Burgundy, the complexity of uh, the miracle grape. They call it Pinot Noir, which will go with um, light red meats and as well as fish um, and uh, as Ian has written in his blog in the Echo um, there are only two grapes in Burgundy Pinot Noir on the red, Chardonnay on the white so the expertise and the, the different complexities and the layers and structure of the wine comes from incredible expertise and so I would say Burgundy is my favourite wine. Ian and Claire had a bottle of it a couple of uh, weeks ago and we were, we were kind of toying with an idea of two or three different things but this really came out very well. I tasted this a couple of years ago, it was gorgeous, it had real concentration but this is now actually really starting to open up quite quickly. Um, if anything, it's drinking better than the monthly and I keep on saying the monthly had a, had a, a very closed nose but a beautiful palate on it. There's a, there's a few places on here. We went on a river cruise and it actually took us through this region. So when we did the third one there in Santo Ban, that's where we actually went. We went to a vineyard there. So it was quite nice to actually try it at a table than it was just yeah. to go just to the vineyard, wasn't it? Yeah, and I mean, all the wines have been fantastic. Angela really liked the first one 
I wasn't as struck. It was a bit too acidic lovely. for me, but uh, two and three have just been. They're, they're getting better. It actually reminds us of our honeymoon because that's where we spent our honeymoon in Burgundy for a week and a half as I used to live there so we kind of revisited a lot of the vineyards where I used to work and the uh, domains and everything. Yeah, so it's been a nice nice trip back down memory lane. They are and really well paired with the food as well. I think it's just the best innovation. It's an entrepreneurial gem. Absolutely getting new experiences with this wine is totally beautiful. We can all sit at home and quaff relatively cheap wine but frankly this is a completely different experience. It's absolutely wonderful. It's wonderful kind of learning about the, the smells and the flavours and the, you know, the smell of gorse has really hit me with one of the whites. It was just incredible. It's a wee bit subdued, and look, that's that's just young Burgundy. Um, give this another, you know, half hour, an hour in the in the decanter, and it will come good. But you put it into your mouth, and it's just that lovely burst of of fruit and lovely fresh, juicy fruit. And oak is coming through there, and they use about thirty percent oak in their their wine. So you've got thirty percent new oak, which gives you that lovely. <laughs> burst of spice on the palate. One of the things we are alive to, we have, in the main restaurant wine list of course, we have a whole range and we've been just as careful with the, the entry level wines as they call them, the, the very the, much the cheaper ones and approachable ones, we're just as careful with those to make sure they're good. And one thing that may happen for example, if, if a party comes for, 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 for a, a, a wedding in, in, a, in a cottage nearby, they might want a case of very approachable, more affordable wines. We can do that as well, because the same love goes into choosing the cheaper wines as the fine wines as well. So um, yeah, we've had we've had a few sales. The the uh, wine tasting has gone very is going very well. We've had a great uptake for that, and we anticipate that if we run it again, we'll have another another good uptake. www.skyfinewines.com